Hello, today's demonstration will be with the Trio Motion Controller MC4M EtherCat Master. This EtherCat Master is a high performance motion coordinator with up to 32 digital drive axes available. The MC4M is able to communicate with these drives over the EtherCat network. This EtherCat network is supported in over 100 different drive manufacturers. Um, the three we have here today is Emerson Control Techniques, Sanyo Motion, along with the Linmont Linear Actuator. We also have Wago Expandable I.O. over EtherCat and a Leica Encoder. With the MC4N is the UniPlay 7, the HMI for, from Trio Motion. The motion controller and the HMI is all programmable via the Motion Perfect version 3 software, which is free. The software utilizes the IEC 611-31-3 standard programming languages. Now we will move on to the second application, at which point we have a Linmont linear actuator moving in the reverse direction until a home sensor is made. We can see our Linmont linear actuator moving in the reverse direction until the sensor trigger is made, which is connected to our Wago expandable I.O. Once that trigger is made, then we can move our motors to the unload position. And a Unimotor HD connected to the Unidrive M700, which is rotating in the reverse direction until 10% torque has been met. Here is the Unimotor HD, which once the process begins, We'll turn in reverse until 10% torque is met. That is now defined as the zero position or home position. And then it will move forward to the unload position once the homes are complete. We will now initiate lower gripper, at which point our tor torque motor will cut on, which is connected to the Sanyo Dinky. And our Unimotor HD is rotating in the forward position. We have our Leica encoder connected to the torque motor here, which we can see as we rotate our Leica encoder, the value will appear. Once we have reached the lower position, we can now jog our motor in the reverse direction, jog it in the forward direction. Here we can jog in the reverse direction in the forward direction to get to the position we want. Now we select a closed gripper. Now we can see our conveyor motor has turned on and our Unimotor HD is returning to the unload position. The torque motor is on. Once we've re reached the release position, our gripper will then open, dropping the material onto the conveyor. We will return to the unload position and our conveyor stays on. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed.